Welcome. Welcome to a Sunday vlog. It is five o'clock at night. <laughs> I got a late start today, but I did finish recording a makeup tutorial. Only did the eyes today. So if you like, well, they're hiding right now behind my glasses, but if you like this look, you may have already watched it actually. I always forget that Sundays at the end of the week, if I have uploaded a video, it will have already hit my channel. So you may have already seen it. I hope so. If you haven't, maybe you will decide to. Anyway, just finished recording that. It took me a long time. I don't know why I have some days when I am just having a hard time sort of with everything with I don't know so yeah it, it took me a bit to record this one but I got through it <laughs> I am headed to the pet store it's either one or two things right it's either I'm going to Rite Aid or I'm going to the pet store I uh, think I've talked about this, I know I have in the past, how my dogs have become the pickiest eaters on the face of the planet. Loki has never been, so I don't know what is up with him, but he has been since birth. I refuse to feed them just crappy food, so I am, I am having a heck of a time. So I'm returning a couple things that I have purchased because one great thing about this pet store is you can return even if they've eaten some of it. Anyway, I'm returning some stuff that just did not work and then I'm going to apply that toward whatever it is I decide to buy this time. I'm just having a heck of a time. So they don't close until 7 so we have plenty of time. So that's really the only thing on the docket is to head to the pet store. I may decide to go browse somewhere. I mean, it is kind of late, but we'll see. I actually think I didn't start even getting ready for my day until about 1, 1 1.30 in the afternoon. So, got a very late start today. And then I bet I was in my recording room for a couple hours today. Then we had a solicitor come to the door. I heard my my husband talking and I'm like, oh shoot, because then my dogs, I'm afraid they're gonna bolt out. And um, so I had just finished. So I walk around, I'm like, oh, what's going on? Sure enough, we had a solicitor, the whole magazine thing. And so that lasted a while. So funny you guys yesterday and the day before and the day before that we had 90 degree weather today i don't think the high got any higher than like 61 i think was the high today it even sprinkled today very very cloudy and gray it's a, it's a nice little change though <laughs> those 90 degree temps are a little challenging here for us we just aren't acclimated and we skipped right past spring we didn't really have a spring to speak of so we went from this kind of weather to 90 degrees and uh yeah no acclimation right there so even though we don't have sun today i do have to say that it's a nice little break you will find that people who live in the Pacific Northwest complain constantly about the weather. We're either really mad because we are ready for some sun or we get the sun and it's very hot and then we just are like, oh gosh, it's just so hot. We're never happy here. We're very fickle. <laughs> as much as I, you know, in, yeah, I, I just, I do love it here though because there is no place prettier, I think, than Pacific Northwest in the summer. When we have summer, um, it, it is just no place prettier. But I do love it here. I do. I really don't think there's any place prettier than the Pacific Northwest. If you can deal with the rain, 
that is because we do get a lot of that. However, with global warming, we get a little less than, the, a lot less probably, if we were to look at the statistics, than in years past, it tends to be getting a little less and less, which is not good, but we still get our rain. And as much as we do like to complain about it, it keeps our state green and lush and gorgeous. So, not gonna go on the freeway today. I think I'm just gonna go the back way since the pet store where it's located, that just seems to make more sense to me. You know where I haven't been in a while is TJ Maxx. I have not browsed in there for quite some time. No. I might go. Where might I go? I don't know. Home Goods always calls me. Calls my name. I might go to Home Goods. You know why? I need some candles. I got some really awesome faux candles because they look so realistic, first of all, when they're burning. And they are made of actual wax. So the, the actual candle is really wax. They are the most realistic fake candles that I've ever seen or seen even. So I want to see if they have more of those. And I want to get some regular candles as well. Maybe I will go to Home Goods. Should we go to Home Goods? Maybe we will. Because I don't think they close till like 7 either. May even be later than that. But I know for sure they'll still be open. And let's do that. We're going to the west side anyway. Home Goods is on the west side. So I feel good about that. My little car, you guys. It needs to be washed. It's looking sad. So I think tomorrow I'm going to wash my car. I had a really fun comment the other one of my vlogs. I think it was the one when I showed you guys my car. And um, she said, I think you should name your car. And you know, it's really funny because growing up, we had as children we had a Betsy as a car and we had Betsy number one and Betsy number two and it, I think that's a great idea so I should name my car however I want you guys to think of the name for me so if you're watching this down in the comments give me and I'll, th I'll throw up some pictures I'll put some pictures up of my car for those of you that may have missed it and it's just this cute little coupe. So what is a good name for my car? Because I love that idea. I love naming something that brings you joy. And yes, I love cars. As explained in vlogs past, cars are not about status symbols at all for me. I just have loved cars since I was a small child. So we were not ever able to to get really, I don't know, newer cars when we were raising our kids. So anyway, I love the idea of putting a name on this one. I also want to get a personalized license plate and I've been waiting to get the generic one <laughs> because you need to have that before you can actually up, put an application in to get a personalized one. So I'm trying to think of some fun ideas and my son-in-law, Ibrahim, he thought of a couple of cute ones, a couple of good ones. So I, I'm definitely going to do that. It's not as expensive to do that as I thought it was. And so I'm definitely doing that, but let's think of a name. So I want you guys to think, give me some ideas, give me some ideas of a name for my cute little coop. All right, I'm coming upon the pet store, so I'm gonna catch you guys probably when we pull into Home Goods if I decide to go there. So I am gonna sign off for a little bit for now, and I will catch up with you guys very soon. Okay, all right, guys, I'm trying a different food. 
It's the first time I've ever taken advantage of that return thing. I think about the money I could have saved if I returned everything that I that my dogs didn't like. Um, I thought they returned like a percentage, like not not the whole thing, and they returned. They gave me the money for the whole bag. So you get what you spent back if your dog isn't or cat or whatever doesn't like it which is really generous but i've never done that <laughs> i don't know i just always felt weird about it but i thought no jill you have spent so much money and i just throw it away so some of it's been used and i can't donate that but it is a waste and but now I'll let them deal with how they're, they're gonna probably throw it away. So I don't know, maybe they, I don't know. I guess they have to throw it away. All right, so it is now 5.28 in the evening. Definitely not the morning. And I feel like browsing. You know what's funny is this is the time of night, even later, growing up, being a teenager, living in California, um, me and my best friend, our favorite time of night was around seven. And we would just browse around, drive around in her cool car. She had a really cool car. It was a, God, what was the year of that? It was a Cougar, but I couldn't, it, it was a very, I mean, back in the day, it would be probably considered a muscle car. Um, had wide wheels on it. It was very similar to the color of my car right here. Um, anyway, I didn't have a driver's license. I didn't get my driver's license till I was 21. And you know, my mom and dad, they're like, we didn't get to drive their cars. It's like, if you want to drive, you got to save up and buy yourself a car. And so I wasn't able to buy a car till I was 21. And, uh, so I didn't get my driver's license until then. So gonna look at candles, gonna look at the fake candles as well. When I was in Home Goods, not very long ago, was it last week? I completely forgot to look at candles and I, I was like, dang it, I, I really wanted to do that. What the heck was that? This is a great time to go out, you guys, because there's not a lot of people out and about right now. They're probably all at home eating dinner. It's great. Hardly any traffic, just buzz around, loving this. <laughs> We're gonna have to go out more often this time of night, you guys. This is great. Oh, do you watch Nacho Libre? It's fantastic. I love that movie. There's so many quotable quotes in that movie. It's one of our family's faves. Gotta love Jack Black. Sorry guys, I'm learning the, I'm not liking this either. What's going on? Yeah, I'm not liking this either. This guy, I hope he's not paying attention to me because he's probably thinking I'm some kind of ridiculous woman trying to park her car. I'll tell you what. I feel like a ridiculous woman trying to park my car right now. Here we go. See, I knew what I was doing the whole time. Yes. Well done, Jill. All right, guys, let's let's go take a gander at Home Goods. Not sure I'm going to film anything when I'm in there. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, I have been jabbering on and talking to myself for a while now in my car to you guys and forgot to turn on my phone. So, had a great conversation with nobody at all, which is how I live my life anyway, but still, you know, I like to think you're out there. Anyway, uh, so, home goods. Yes, I did end up getting a thing or two, and I will show you that, and I'll, I'll kind of show you where I plan on, like, putting it in my house. 
these days I do try to purchase with the purpose. I need to make a t-shirt. Purchase with the purpose. Um, because, you know, I just don't want to, I have, uh, I just want to know that what I'm buying. <coughs> oh. <coughs> yeah. That I'm not just getting it to stick on a shelf unless it blows my mind out of the water and I'm like, good lord, I have to have that. Um, otherwise, you know, do I need more wood risers at this point? Probably not, but I did get one today. Okay, that's one thing you missed is I did have to pull out one of these flyaways. I pulled out the flyaway. I'm in my car. Nobody saw me, but it's made me think. You gotta remember that you have a wig on, because we tend to sort of, you know, don't think about it. And so when you do things like that, when you start pulling out your hair, kind of want to keep that in mind. Don't do that when people can see you. They're gonna go, oh, what the heck is that lady doing? She's pulling her hair out. Anyway. Okay, well, you know, we were productive. It was just a little later in the day than probably most people. That's the thing though, you guys. If that happens to you where you are like, it's midday and you're just getting yourself together, it's okay. You can still be very productive. You may be better off tackling things toward the end middle to end of your day anyway. I have never been a morning person. Never. My mom was the epitome of a morning person. She got all of her housework done in the morning hours. And I mean, she didn't have a little list. I think about, wow, I could not keep up with my mom when I was younger, let alone the age that she was still very productive. You know, when I think about how she was at my age, I could not hold a candle. Anyway, um, I don't remember what I was talking about. Honestly, I, I have no clue what I was talking about. So, um, oh yes. So, I've never been a morning person. However. These days, I used to be very much a night person, and I would do a lot of my major cleaning. I mean, major cleaning and stuff, I would do it at night. I think a lot of us young moms and whatnot would do that because our kids would be in bed and all that. But I mean, my whole life I've been a night person, been very productive in the evening hours into the mid of the night hours. So, um, yeah. Well, these days, I, I couldn't tell you what my prime time of the day is because <laughs> I get tired and pooped out at a certain time at the end of the day. And I'm definitely not a morning person. I very seldom jump out of bed and just go right into it and start cleaning and straightening up and stuff like that. Every now and then I will, I'll start walking around and find myself doing a little bit of that. But on the normal, real life stuff, I am a very slow to start my day. I, I have to have my coffee and I usually first thing I do is I feed the animals and get my dogs and my cat fed and all of that and then Loki usually wants to go outside again and I'll get my coffee going and the very first thing I do before I do anything is I usually take my coffee back to bed with me and I have one of those electric like bases so you can I can get my bed up and I'll grab my laptop and I'll um, sit there and drink my coffee and I have my pajamas and I get back under the covers and I just start my day real slow like that I very seldom will pop the TV on because I'm usually the first one up so I usually get up between the 7 to 8 a.m. hour I swear it seems like lately lately I've been getting up closer to eight. If I start any later than eight and it gets close to nine, that meant that I didn't sleep well, first of all. But it also, I just feel like my day becomes so much, it goes by so fast. But usually I do get up between seven and eight. So I don't like to turn my TV on 
our rooms are very clustered, very close together. And I don't want to wake up Shane. He usually, he works full time, so he usually has to get up around, him, you know, in the morning. And then my husband, I don't know how well he slept. Usually he doesn't sleep well. So sometimes he gets his good sleep in the morning hours. So I don't like waking them up. So I just kind of stay on my laptop and watch YouTube and check out what's going on with my videos and just take the morning nice and slow. So then when my coffee's done, I will meander back out and that's when sometimes I'll start straightening up the kitchen or getting, picking up stuff and the cat's litter box is one of the first things I do in the morning because she usually leaves a nice little something something in there for me. So anyway, I don't know why I decided to talk about all that. Okay, so I am home now and a little later in the vlog, I'll show you guys the little things that I got from Home Goods and where I plan on putting them. I didn't get a whole lot, but okay. I'll catch up with you guys later. That vase, oh, this vase, it didn't come with the flowers, by the way. Originally, I had cut some roses from outside to put in there, and they kind of died off. So those are actually two little fake flowers with still the real rose sort of greenery that I put in there, so that's sort of a combo. Uh, but this face is, is absolutely, I love it. It's a little bit imperfect in shape. It's adorable. It's such a good find, and it was under $10 real glass beautiful and then of that riser I love the riser like I need more of those but I'm obsessed with them and I adore that one and then I picked up the candles which is one of the reasons why I went into home goods and these are the real wax these particular ones they do have a remote you can adjust the brightness and turn them off and on of course the only thing is, is I was not impressed with the wick. It's not as near as realistic as the ones that I have in the back there on my sideboard against the wall on those really tall candlesticks. I think I'm gonna show you them in a bit. When I turn those on, they kind of sway the fake wick when it's on. It sways back and forth and it really looks like they're flickering. And these ones that I got, I thought were like that, and they weren't. So I was a little disappointed, uh, but that's okay. And then I did specifically also want to get a seagrass basket to put here in this very spot. And I wanted to put blankets in there eventually, uh, especially fall and winter. And for now, I just put my favorite fuzzy one and my lumbar pillow that I love has little handles. Anyway, I really like what I got. I always do when I go to Home Goods. That is that, guys. And I'm going to say goodbye for this one. I will see you guys in the next video. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit that bell so you know when I'm going to be uploading a new video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.